record stuff and post stuff is a little bit tougher than I would have expected. Uh, I only think about, okay, now it's time to get up and record, but then I get distracted and forget. And so now it's already 5.30, leaving for the gym. It's pretty cold today. Uh, over the last, over the weekend, it was um, close to 70. Oh, this person parked really close to me. Yes. Gave me no room to get in the trunk. Anyways, yeah, it was super warm over on Friday and over the weekend, but back down to freezing again. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got up, did meditation. Then I was working on, so I got a test today in 340 in the software engineering class. Didn't study really at all up to this point, but I got about an hour, or no, an hour and a half to two hours. I'm trying to get back to the gym, so I'll stay there. Um, yeah, I had to listen to a few, few good uh, podcasts this weekend to a lot of the design matters stuff, so that was good. I started listening to Reply All again, which was actually very, very interesting. Um, there was a couple good ones. One about the guy who started World Star. He must have, I believe he passed away over the weekend. And then uh, one about a man with a who got ALS. But uh, it was a very good perspective on life. Anyways, I'll check back in with you after a while. Had a great workout this morning. The 25 uh, minute uh, interval bike training on the spinning machine. So it's always nice. Anyways, this morning I was listening to a reply all episode and finished it while I was in the gym. And it was a very, very interesting story about uh, John Brinkley, who was a doctor in Kansas and, um, and did other stuff, moved to Texas and did some political stuff, tried to run for a couple of offices. Anyways, he uh, was basically a big major scam artist that took over a town in Kansas and then took over a town in Texas. A very interesting analysis. Hold on. Tell that it was a uh, an allusion to Trump, uh, based on what the person was doing or the way the guy acted, uh, revered himself so highly. Um, basically, was just scamming everyone as uh, being a fake doctor, but selling these remedies. Um, interesting. Just just a very interesting thing. And what it makes me think of is. The way we teach history, and I mean, one of the major conversation pieces that came up throughout the interview or throughout the conversation was, you know, how how does this type of stuff happen over and over again, right? You know, history repeats itself because the people who got scammed die, and then the people, the next generation or the next gen, third generation after, don't study the history <clears throat> and even to the extent that they avoid it, right? So, obviously, Germany and Hitler is a another example of this type of situation where it's almost that they are so ashamed that they don't even talk about it. They don't want to try and review or figure out how something like that happened. So then, you know, surely enough, uh, other countries have had similar things happen, and it's just a re recurring problem because we get ashamed and guilted into forgetting about it until it happens again and then we're reminded of it after it happens. Anyways, just uh, food for thought as uh, Trump has now been president for, I don't know, what's today, February 27th, a little over a month now I guess break here. I'm uh, about to go to work to give you a quick update while I walk to the uh, parking garage. So I studied for the test this morning, the 340 test, then went to the test, 
Yeah, it was pretty, uh, it wasn't terribly bad, but probably 75% I, I knew, other 25% was a little more, uh, not. So then I went to 459 class, and I read a bunch of articles, saw a couple cool things, one about, um, the read this the discovery of a new phase of matter phase of matter time crystals so that's pretty interesting I uh, also found a thing called the new leaf project which is experimenting with giving uh, homeless individuals a stipend a uh, one time uh, fund to then try and reestablish their uh, their footing which is pretty interesting <clears throat> and then I just walked to get my Raspberry Pi case, my new one, that uh, Basu found for me and printed. And then I went to see Carrie. I was supposed to get some flyers for CEO, but they weren't printed yet, so <clears throat> I'll have to go back tomorrow and get those. Anyways, like I said, I'm walking to get my lunch and then I'm uh, going to work. An insight that I would like to share. Uh, I have a tendency to like to, I guess, pacify myself in a way, almost, or just coddle myself to feel better about when other people are doing something or other people are taking action on something and actually making, making strides forward. Um, I just like to think, oh yeah, I had an idea like that, or oh yeah, I thought about that one time to make it feel like I'm, I guess, actually doing something. Anyways, that's something I noticed, something I'm going to try and work through so that I can actually uh, do, do something about it and not uh, feel good about doing nothing. I had another interesting day today. I'm uh, just leaving work now. It's about 6 o'clock. Um... Yeah, I'm really having a hard time with this uh, socket implementation on the website I'm working on. And I'm really kind of just spinning my wheels um, trying to get this system working. So it's a little bit disappointing and discouraging, but that's part of the process. Keep learning and pushing through it. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, when you spend four hours trying to, uh, in one day, just trying to, sorry, there's a bunch of crazy drivers out here today. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit hard, I guess. So, uh, I feel a little down at the moment, but it's okay. Uh, I was doing some reading on machine learning, and... Uh, there's actually this video lecture course on YouTube about reinforcement learning, so that seems to be pretty interesting. Watched about the first half of it, and then uh, there's an entire Git, GitHub repo of projects to work on and different things to experiment with, so that's something else to look forward to to work on. Uh, yeah, that's about all I have for right now. I'll be back later.